Saint Seraphim of Saraf concerning the prayer and as he uh, left the ground and was above ground, the healing of the young man and the healed man did not talk of it until much later as the saint instructed him. Now, I have to tell you that even you and I and others can uh, somehow feel as if we're not touching the ground. Uh, I know of people that had have had this experience, and uh, one of the one of the young children that has had this experience was right after holy confession. Uh, one one young man came out and told me, "I'm going to tell you what happened to me, but don't tell anyone. Don't laugh at me." But when I was coming out of the church, uh, my feet were not touching the ground. He said, and uh, I have to tell you that uh, I had followed. Some something that I had read about concerning how to dedicate your family, consecrate your family to Christ, and you do this for six weeks every Saturday and Sunday, go for Holy Communion, and uh, after you're fasting, of course, uh, uh, Wednesdays and Fridays, if you can, even I was doing it Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but... Uh, <sighs> I've noticed that um, at the end of the 40 days, one afternoon I was coming back from work and my feet were not touching the ground. Okay, uh, it's, it, it's uh, because of the fact that Christ gives you gifts, personal gifts that no one else, you can't buy. You cannot buy these things, okay? Um, now, certain saints were... Uh, leaving off the ground when they were praying. So this is what happened in this situation. Um, Saint Seraphim, a princess, Princess Chakayev's nephew, arrived very ill at his aunt's estates, and she sent him off to Saint Seraphim of Sarov. Uh, he was a monk, and uh, the young man was so weak that he had to be carried on a stretcher. Saint Seraphim seemed to be waiting for him, you know, sometimes they have the uh, discretion. They know who they're, not only do they know your name before they meet you, but uh, they know all your sins. They know everybody around you and your family and what their characters are like, what their personalities are like. But anyway, that's another issue. So St. Seraphim was waiting for him. He asked to be put uh, on the, he took to, uh, St. Seraphim asked for the stretcher to be put in his cell. He says, now my joy, pray. I will also pray, he said, but stay lying down as you are and do not turn over it onto the other side. Now the young man lay for a long time, turned towards the wall, and when his curiosity aroused, he turned to see what the elder was doing. And the elder was praying, kneeling, St. Seraphim was kneeling, but he was as if he was floating in the air without touching the ground. Frightened and astonished, the sick young man let out a cry, and the elder finished his prayer and approached the young man, saying, You are now going to tell the whole world that Father Seraphim is a saint, that he floats in the air when he prays. God save you. Mind, don't tell anyone till I die. Otherwise, you will get sick again. The sick young man got up and leaned lightly on uh, the elder and was then able go to go to the inn. He was cured. That's when he was surrounded by people eager to know what the elder had done to achieve the cure of the young man. Much to everyone's surprise, the elder, the uh, young man remained quiet about this. He didn't say anything. A few years later, when from St. Petersburg, the young man returned to visit his aunt, he learned that St. Seraphim of Saraf had passed away. That's when he told everyone what had happened and how he was cured and what happened when he was in the cell of St. Seraphim, when, when St. Seraphim was praying, and how he um, St. Seraphim was off the ground floating in the air. This is from the book St. Seraphim of Sarov by Irini Goryanov, published by Tinos, and I've translated this for you from a... Um, okay, I'm, I, I'm looking at the person who translated this. I, I think I know that family. Okay, Scuderis, Pizza Scuderis. Um, this is, uh, I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. I wish you all a happy, happy blessed, and uh,
prosperous, peaceful new year. Thank you. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.